Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Perspective. In this episode of The Perspective, we will look at the measures taken by the Government of India to improve connectivity of the Dalat Beg Oldi sector with Leh and to reduce the risk of road connectivity being interdicted by the Chinese. First, let's put the location of the DBO sector in perspective within a larger setting. DBO sector is located northeast of Leh at an aerial distance of about 145 km. The road distance on the other hand is more than 250 km. The outer boundary is the historic Ladakh-Tibet boundary. This is India's claim line in eastern Ladakh. The inner red line corresponds mostly with Chinese claim line in the sector. The red line further west is the line of control or LOC with Pakistan in the northern areas of Pakistan occupied Kashmir. It terminates at a point which is referred to on military maps as grid NJ9842. From here onward, the LOC which passes along the Saltoro Ridge is known as the actual ground position line or AGPL and terminates to west of Indra Kohl. Siachen Glacier is to the east of AGPL. Sakshgam Valley, which was ceded to China by Pakistan in 1963, is located from northeast to northwest of the Siachen Glacier. The road starts from Leh and crosses the Ladakh range via 17,590 feet high Changla Pass. It then descends to Darbuk village. From here, the road passes through a narrow gorge and reaches the Shayok village in the Shayok river valley. At Shayok, the road crosses over to the other side. For its entire alignment along the Shayok river, the road runs along the left bank of the Shayok river. En route, we first come across the confluence of Chang Chenmo river with the Shayok river. After traveling some distance upstream, comes the confluence of the Galwan river with the Shayok river. The road continues upstream along the Shayok River till a point from where it crosses over to the right bank through the recently inaugurated Colonel Shewang Rinchen Bridge and enters a gorge which leads to Margo. This is the Colonel Shewang Rinchen Bridge. However, this stretch of DSDBO road runs the risk of interdiction by the Chinese. This is because the stretch of DSDBO road from north of its confluence with Chang Chenmo River to where it enters Margo Gorge runs very close to the LAC. At some places, the road is under 5 km from the Chinese claim line as it runs along the mountain ridges to the east of the road. The main reason we pushed the Chinese back into the Galwan River is because we had we permitted them to extend their claim line the, DB, the DSDB road would have come within their direct observation. Uh, moving forward, the next landmark after Margo on the DSDB road is the Birthsay Camp. The Y junction from where Indian patrols go towards Petrol Point 10 and Petrol Point 13 and which has been blocked by the Chinese is about 7 km east of the Birthsay Camp. In 2013, the Chinese had actually camped a mere 1.5 km from the Birthsay camp when we had a prolonged standoff. From Birthsay camp, the road goes north towards Kizilanga. From here, the road enters the Debsang plains after crossing the 17,634 feet high Debsangla Pass. From Debsangla, the road heads almost straight to the actual DBO post crossing the Chipchap River end route. To give depth to the road connecting with DBO, BRO is developing a new road which will start from Sasoma, go over the Saserla Pass and then connect with DSDBO road at Margo. A road connecting Leh with Siachen Base Camp already exists. Sasoma lies about 40 km before the Siachen Base Camp. From Sasoma, the road uh, turns east and ascends the Karakoram Range. The Sasala Pass is about 50 km from Sasoma and is located at an altitude of 17,753 feet. After crossing the Sasala Pass, the road descends towards the Shayok River and reaches Sasir Brangsa located on its western bank. 
road crosses over the shayok river towards eastern side and enters the gorge which takes it first towards chongtash and then margo this is an image of mules crossing shayok river at sase brangsa at margo this new road meets the dsdb road coming from south along the shayok river from here there is a common road towards dbo and karakoram pass this new road alignment gives depth to our connectivity with the dbo sector and given the presence of the massive karakoram range in between it removes the risk of interdiction by the chinese as is the case with the dhs dbo road dhs dbo road on the debsang plain runs close to the chinese claim line any movement happening on this road will be easily visible to the chinese observers also there is a great risk of chinese being able to physically interdict the road to address this concern bro has created an additional alignment of the dsdb road which provides the much needed depth to this road this new road bifurcates at kizilangar and then moves along the western extremity of the debsang plains in a broad semicircular arc and connects with the dbo post from the rear this new alignment gives an additional depth of 10 to 20 km to the road from the chinese claim line another important feature of this new alignment is that the road runs along the western slope of the debsang plains this uh, this way the vehicular movement on the road is shielded from the observation from the chinese side also being on the reverse slope it provides limited protection against artillery fire both dsdbo road and sasoma saserla road converge at margo from here the single road passes through a narrow gorge which is located in proximity to the chinese claim line if the chinese are able to uh, occupy either of uh, kizilangar birthsay camp or margo the connectivity with debsang plains and dbo sector will be lost to address this critical vulnerability bro is working on extending the road northwards from saser brangsa this road will move north towards the confluence of the shayok river with chipchap river before the confluence the road is expected to turn east and join the new debsang plains road and connect with dbo there are two major benefits of this new road first it ensures that even in case of the margo god or kizil langar falling into the chinese hand or if movement through it becomes untenable there will be surface link available with dbo and debsang plains Secondly this road has a massive 18000 feet mountain range towards its immediate east this means that for most of its length the movement along this critical stretch of the road will not be visible to the chinese observers on their side further these mountains will also provide cover against artillery fire they give the much required depth of the to the last stretch of connectivity with debsang plains and dbo finally to conclude while the nature presents enormous physical challenges with respect to connecting dbo sector with rest of ladakh indian army and border roads organization are implementing all possible measures to improve connectivity further they have also taken measures to mitigate risk against physical occupation by the chinese or interdiction by long range projectiles Thank you for watching the perspective in case you have liked this episode please share and subscribe to the channel have a great day cheers